Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at a Ruger 22 pistol. And before we go any further with this, I'm going to show you that this Ruger pistol does not have anything in it. And we are clear to make this video. Nobody can actually get hurt. So what we have here is we have a Ruger Mark 1 22 long rifle target pistol. And I'm going to show you some of the close-ups of it, what it says on the side in typical Ruger fashion. It has all the warnings written on the side. And then it says Ruger Mark 1, you know, 22 long rifle pistol. And on the other side, it all it has is a serial number and it has the Ruger emblem just on one side of the grip. It does not have it on the other. So what this thing is, this is a target pistol. It was designed to be a very inexpensive plinking or target pistol. And these came out in 1949. And what a lot of people don't know is this is what actually got Ruger started in the firearm industry. So Bill Ruger took some pistol and duplicated it from World War II. I can't remember the name of the pistol right off hand, folks. I'm not a historian. And he developed this pistol himself. It's a blowback system. It has like a bolt in it right here. And um, it's a 22 long rifle. And it came with a short little tapered barrel on it. And later on in production, like I said, I don't know all the years and I'm not an expert on these things. They started offering them in a five and a half inch bull barrel. And the bull barrel is a real good target one. These are the target ones that have the target sights and all that stuff on them. And this is probably the most accurate handgun that I or anyone else watching these videos will ever shoot. I am not kidding, folks. These things will actually put them through the same hole if you do your part. Now, what makes this one a little bit unique, and as you know, I usually like to show unique stuff on this thing, is this is a Mark I. So, they made the Mark I all the way till 1982, and then they changed over to the Mark II, and they have Mark III's and Mark IV's now. So, basically, that's just like different generations. They've made different improvements over the years with them. And one of the only differences that I see in a Mark I and a Mark II is when you grab this bolt back, it doesn't hang open on the last round. There's no bolt, so you're left with a closed bolt when you empty the magazine. On the Mark IIs, it has a little bolt catch. It'll stay open. But with this one here, if you pull this bolt back and put the safety on, It'll hang open. So that's what it would look like on a Mark II when you fired the last shot. But not on this one, folks. This one is old school. Now, this particular example that I have here in front of you is made in 1979. So it is not a young girl anyway. But it was more towards the end of the production of the Mark I. Now, you know, I always like to, to get unique stuff. You know, the older of the, the kind and... The holding the bolt thing doesn't bother me. And if you look at these out on the used market, if you're looking specifically for a Mark I, if you're a weirdo like I am and you go look for oddball stuff, I mean, anybody can go find a Ruger <clears throat> Mark Series 22 pistol almost anywhere. But I like the specific Mark I, say it's the older one, and I wanted one with a bull barrel on it. So you don't see quite as many of them laying around. I mean, you can look on Gun Broker and they want as much as you can get a new one for. <laughs> newer stainless ones uh you know just like everything else these things these things go up in price but these pistols when they came out i think they were like 38 bucks to buy a brand new one in the 40s and bill ruger has always been very good at figuring out how to be a budget-minded person he can build a pistol that's just as good as the more expensive people and he figures out a way to do it cheaper now, one of Ruger's main clean things they do these days is casting stuff, and that's why they can build a pistol cheaper than anybody else. Their revolvers are cheaper, their 1911s are cheaper, pretty much everything is cheaper because they figure out how to do it budget-minded, and they do a very good job at doing that. Well, this one's no exception. This is what got the whole company started. It's what got Ruger actually started was this particular pistol here, and... Like I said, this one was made in 1979, and 
about three years after that is when they came out with the first variation that changed the Mark II. But I like it a lot. I like having the bull barrel on it. I just think it looks better than the, the tapered down barrel. The tapered down barrels actually look like a German Luger to me. <laughs> I know it's not a German Luger, folks, but that's what it looks like. But if you look at this thing, it's got a real heavy barrel on it. There's absolutely no recoil. If you look at the sight picture on this thing, it has awesome target sights on it. You have a great sight picture, and they are adjustable on it. On this particular one so you will be able to hit anything that you want all you have to do is your part learn how to shoot and this thing will be the most accurate thing you've ever shot but anyway folks i want to give you a quick look at this ruger mark ii it just has a single stack i believe it's a 10 round magazine that goes in it you know and it's got this little thing here it helps you load it so you don't kill your fingers on it and you just pull the bolt back with your two fingers here and that's how you chamber them and it's semi-automatic it's got a safety right here on the side so it will not go off when that safety's on and safety off so it's hard to see but there's a little f there for fire and there's a little s there for safe so very simple back in the 70s they didn't have the little red the black this is when people actually had to think but anyway folks you have any questions on this thing Feel free to reach out. I'm not an expert on Ruger 22 pistols, target pistols, but I know enough to be dangerous. I will try my best to answer anything that you ask, and if I don't know the answer, as always, I will find the answer for you. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching my video today, and you folks have a great day.